this party started I got the music playing loud How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud I got my dancing shoes on And I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started Yeah, we gon' be adventurous We went to the club like we always do This girl caught my... Hello! My name is Joe, and you've arrived at the Joe is Hungry channel, located, curated, filmed, and produced right here in the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. If you enjoy the channel, if you like the videos, support the channel, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. Today we're headed back to Jimmy John's to check out their house-made chicken salad bacon sandwich. The chicken salad sub is derived from and made with shock earler, house-made chicken salad, cucumber and lettuce, tomato and mayonnaise on Jimmy John's famous French bread. The eight-inch iteration will pile six. 160 calories onto your daily diet. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. For an a la carte eight inch order, Jim Johns will charge you a hefty $9.85. Make it a combo for $11.09 before taxes in Georgia. Is this a good deal? We won't know until later in the video when we do the Joe is Hungry weight test and calculate the relative price per ounce. So let's get this ball rolling and head on over to Jimmy Johns Freaky Fast in Cartersville, Georgia. Now it's time to do the Joe is Hungry cold cut temperature test. Where we like to keep it somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 degrees or below. Sandwich number one comes in at 41.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Chicken salad sandwich number two weighs in at 40.5 degrees Fahrenheit. With these temperatures, and it's particularly important with chicken salad, they pass with flying colors the Joe is Hungry cold cut temperature test. Now it's time to head back to the studios and put these things under the microscope and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Chicken bacon number one weighs in at 12.90 ounces. Chicken salad bacon number two weighs in at 13.70 ounces or 388 grams. Add them all up, average them out, do the math, and you come up with a semi-reasonable 67 cents an ounce. So now it's time for the Joe is Hungry big reveal. Just watch me. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was. And that only leaves one more test, and really the definitive and the most important test, the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test engage. <laughs> The lettuce is crisp, cool, and fresh. I can actually taste the cucumbers. The tomatoes are present and accounted for, although I think they have them there mostly for texture because they have almost no flavor. I'm not really sure why Jim John's added pre-cooked bacon. What little flavor it does have gets lost in the chicken salad. It's probably one of those things that look good on paper but really don't work very well in reality. I really don't think bacon is a good flavor combination for chicken salad. If you disagree, if you have thoughts on that, leave it in the comments. And the chicken salad was obviously made fresh and has a nice mild flavor, although I think it could have used maybe a little bit of pickle relish. In my opinion, it would really make a good standalone ingredient without all the extras. The Jimmy John's bread is thick, chewy, and fresh, just the way I like it. It holds up well with no bleed through and really saves this whole sandwich. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that all too familiar slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this Jimmy John's the score that it really deserves. I'm gonna go 6-3. That is my number, that is my review, and hopefully we'll see you all in the next video.